The rumors and leaks around the iPhone 14 continue to roll in, and the latest unofficial tidbits to appear online give us an idea of what we can expect from the rear cameras on the new Pro models. According to a source speaking to a well-known tipster, the 48 megapixel rear camera sensor being introduced in the new Pro models this year is the best on a smartphone if there's enough light, which sounds promising. Less promising is the news that night mode has some issues to solve before it's ready, and is currently actually worse than the one on the iPhone 13 Pro. Bear in mind though that iOS 16 is still being tested, so optimizations are likely to be in the pipeline. The same source confirms that the iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max make use of a pill and hole design on the front display. It's been rumored for a long time, but it seems like the notch might actually be dead Finally, battery life is said to be getting better again this year, with the iPhone 14 Pro apparently adding another couple of hours to its total. Bear in mind that the iPhone 13 Pro is rated for 22 hours of video playback, so we're expecting around 24 hours with the iPhone 14 Pro. Apparently, the speakers have also been improved, according to this source, with better bass and improved clarity. As for the display quality, this is said to be broadly comparable with the screens on the iPhone 13 Pro and iPhone 13 Pro Max. While we can't verify any of these leaks or rumors until the device actually launches, we do know which tipsters are more reliable than others. And as more and more information makes it into the public domain, we start to get a clearer picture of what the iPhone 14 models might look like. From what we've heard about the iPhone 14 models so far, it's the two Pro handsets that are going to be the most appealing. Healing. First and foremost, they're the phones that are actually getting a CPU upgrade this year. Now that we have the news that the camera system on the Pro models is the best from Apple yet, with an upgrade from 12 megapixel sensor to a 48 megapixel sensor, coupled with faster internal components, and what sounds like an improved battery life too, it sounds like the gap between the Pro and the normal iPhone models is only getting wider. So if the price is right, then the Pro models could be the iPhones worth getting this year. Let us know down in the comments below which iPhone you're most excited for this year. Is it the iPhone 14 Pro, the Pro Max, maybe even the iPhone 14 mini? That one's kind of unlikely, but you never know. While you're down there, remember to give the video a like and subscribe to TechRadar here on YouTube so you don't miss any of our future iPhone coverage.